Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, it's Sunday Blog here and we're doing a makeup tutorial today and I'm going to do a little bit of in-depth one. So first of all I'm going to start off with my eyebrows, I'm going to brush and I'm going to comb them and I'm going to give them more of a detailed lining than I usually do as you can see there and I'm just filling it in with um, the Makeup Revolution Brow Palette but unfortunately my head was so far down the camera I missed it all. Now I don't usually line my um, or clean my eyebrows but I'm doing this anyway, I'm just giving it a go, having a try and I'm using my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour and I'm just going around it and I'm not too bothered about the heaviness of it because I'm going to be blending everything in so I'm doing it to kind of clean up my brows a bit and just to give a little bit of my natural highlight that we all have anyway so I'm using this flat angle brush which is really 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 good and I love it it's so easy to work with um, I'm not very good at this but you know it's my first time so with the remainder of the foundation usually I use my W7 eye primer but I'm going to use my foundation to base my eye and I just apply a little bit more and I just blend it in with the same brush you can use a softer brush if you like but I thought why well, not got that in my hand I might as well so I'm just brushing out the harsh lines from where I done my eyebrows and filling in the middle. Next, I'm going to bake my foundation on my eyes. I've never done this before. Um, I think I tried it once and I'm just gonna brush it in and then add some more so I do not get any of those lines there. And then I'm just gonna <coughs> keep using the sponge and then my brush until I'm satisfied. I'm using Tammy X Tropical Paradise Palette. And I'm going in from the edge like you do and then I blend towards my eye I like to have that deeper color on the edge and I can just blend it and not only that it allows me to control the color a lot more now in this video even though I've sped it up and I've cut out a lot I did blend a lot usually when I do my makeup tutorial I don't blend as much you know just time and everything but I want to say to you I noticed such a difference even just blending this one color and I just blend and blend and blend you, you just notice the quality um, of the application of your eyeshadow it's so good so I'm going in with the second color I'm using a lovely golden color but unfortunately for me it wasn't picking up on the brush and I couldn't be didn't bother to wet it so instead um, I just kept going over and over and then I decided to use my fingers which gave me a, a bolder pigment as you can see. I had to do this quite a few times so I think in the future maybe I would just wet the brush just to save time because it took a while to actually apply it. Then I went in with a darker colour which I didn't show you which I thought I did and, um, and I decided to just give myself a slightly smoky look. And I'm just concentrating at the edge and then I'm going to start blending in afterwards. It's just so that I can build up that nice, heavy, boldish colour. Then I'm just going in the inside of my eye and I'm bringing it right down so it goes from, from the corner to the inside. But still seeing some of that transition colour from the beginning. Here, I just slowed it down for you and then I just work it in. a little bit on below my eye I shouldn't have done this yet because I hadn't put my um, my concealer and stuff underneath my eyes so I should have done that afterwards but I think I just got a little bit too excited now I'm going with that for the highlight and I'm using a different brush here and also I made sure my brushes were all clean because what usually happens my brushes are filthy with different colors and then by the, my end of my face even though it still looks good it doesn't start with the colors that I <laughs> applied because they all kind of mesh into one so clean brushes are a must now I'm going in with my primer I'm using Sass Lady here which is a nice gel one it's a little tiny bottle and I haven't spritzed my brush but I'm going in with my foundation and this is the Maybelline one this is a cocoa one it's a darker one so I'm going to basically contour my face just using foundation I'm not going to be using any concealers to um, contour my face I'm basically just going to do it from the offset as you can see I start to blend in where I highlighted my brows 
and then I go with my orange corrector you see what I mean I should have done it afterwards I just <laughs> forgot myself then I'm going with my Maybelline super 24 hour super stay and um, so I'm using that as my highlight I didn't show you what I use because it's not even so much the products that I'm using I'm just showing you what you can do another way of um, making up your face it looks like I put quite a lot there so I'm just blending it in and then I'm going back to with my natural highlight above my forehead and blending that into so as you can see look like I've got a mask and then I'm going in with my other Maybelline this is a foam one um, this isn't my color because I have you know got it darker since the Sun but that's the closest color that I've got and then what I'm going to do is just blend those colors in so it gives you a nice seamless finish what I'm going to do in the future is get one brand with three different shades so I can do my contouring of the offset I've got one foam one this one that um, it still comes out alright but just so it's the same consistency now I'm using the foundation again to do my contour so I'm just applying it and you just put from the uh, top and not all the way down I came a little bit too far I went to stop just below where my cheekbone is the height of my cheekbone to stop just there but it doesn't matter and then I get a clean brush or one of the brushes that use either those colors and I just start to blend it in and then I blend the top as well so everything kind of just becomes seamless you can see that I went too far down I also stop at least a good inch in or half an inch in I decide to contour my nose as well and this is my fingers so I'm using the same cocoa color of the foundation and I'm just dabbing it in so I want the contour to be quite light I don't want it to be too defined so I'm just gradually applying it I'm just putting, I'm just putting a little on the jawline but as you can see it doesn't really show up because um, the foundation needs to be a little bit more darker and I'm just blending it some more it was quite difficult because on the mirror it looked like I blended it in and when I looked in the camera it was just like oh it's not blending in as much as I thought you know I've mixed in my Makeup Revolutions um, baking powder the terracotta and the banana one to give me a nice glowy not too orange and not too yellow finish sometimes or most times when I use a banana on its own it makes me look a bit washed out and ashy and uh, maybe I'm not blending in enough but it just doesn't really suit me then I just come over a little bit ghost like but mixing the two is absolutely perfect but when I highlight underneath my cheekbones I tend to usually just use the banana powder but because I had the mixture already I just used that instead but it wasn't enough then I, so I went in with the banana powder only as you can see And I'm just adding some of that on my nose then I'm going with the Primark's um, blush palette it's a gorgeous gorgeous palette and I use saw the color I use it the smiling get the round apples of your cheeks and this circle motions and then brush up then I'm going over it with a nice gold give me that slight lovely highlight And then I'm just getting my Feel Unique brush and I'm just dusting it off. I find this brush a little bit too light. It, 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 requires me to, it requires a lot of work. So I need to invest in a slightly firmer brush. Then I'm going in again, the bronzer, and I'm just kind of bronzing my face all together just to give it a nice kind of sealed coat. And I'm just going back with my brown highlighting again because it wasn't highlighted enough for me. And then I'm going my pound land lashes. I love these lashes. When I go to pound land, I need to pick up a few more boxes. They've got two types. Well, they might have more, but I've only seen two types. Like the half one and these four ones here. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely love them. Then I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution lipstick here. It's a lovely piece. The Life on the Dance Floor collection. As you can see, I'm just blending that into my lips because if I put it on too much, it's going to be too harsh. It's not going to suit me. This way, I can use the contour of my lips, and that's it, folks. The finished look. 
if you liked it you know exactly what to do so remember be bright be bold be beautiful and most importantly be you